Hello and welcome back to the lab. In my lab here, many of my instruments, my signal sources, my frequency counters, and many of my analyzers have built-in OCXO, Oven Controlled Crystal Oscillators, um, to provide frequency stability and frequency accuracy. And uh, quite frankly, those are more than adequate for my needs. But I thought that maybe I could do a little bit better. Now, I'm not fortunate enough to own my own cesium beam frequency standard. Um, but as it turns out, I don't need one. Um, so enter the GPSDO, GPS Discipline Oscillator. Um, this little imported device, very inexpensive, um, takes the place of a cesium beam frequency standard or other device. And uh, I should um, be able to see how it is working now um i know many youtubers like to do uh unboxing video um i forgot to do the unboxing video so just for those of you who want to see the unboxing just imagine that there is is a is a box here okay and we're going to take our utility knife and we'll open up the box oh look at that there's the gpsdo that i ordered so there's my unboxing video Let's uh, let's zoom in on the input of the, on the uh, front panel of this device and take a look at it. GPSDO. We have a SMA connector that connects to our G GPS antenna. We have uh, BNC connectors for 10 megahertz output and a one pulse per second output. There's a nine pin RS232 connector that I'm not I'm not going to be using that at all. And we have uh, three LEDs, one for alarm, one for GPS lock, and one for run. Um, it has a 12 volt uh, DC input connector here, the power supplied externally. On the rear panel, we have some Chinese characters that I can't read, and that's about it. Okay, so there's a GPS DO. Um, this unit comes with a GPS antenna with a pretty long cable. And uh, it comes with an external wall wart type 12 volt power supply. So um, I'm assuming that this antenna is supposed to go on the roof of your house, which is um, my least favorite place to be. But I'm going to go attempt to do that now. Um, and I'll come back when I've installed the antenna up on the roof. So I didn't fall off the roof, uh, so that's a good thing. Um, but I did install the the antenna. I put a little bit of silicone um, adhesive up there and glued it into place, and uh, and hooked up the other end to the SMA connector over here. Um, the cable is just barely long enough to reach my roof, by the way, but that's good enough. It's just just right, actually. So let's plug it in and see uh, what we get. Okay, so we have a red alarm light, um, flashing, GP, flashing run light, and a solid GPS lock light. Hmm, I don't know what any of these lights mean. <laughs> but uh, let's give it a minute and uh, see if anything changes. Also, I'd like to hook it up to my uh, frequency counter and take a look and see what the, what kind of output we get here. So I've connected the 10 megahertz output of the GPSDO to the input of my 5328A frequency counter. Let's see if we can get a better image. All right, and it looks like it's working. We've got a 10 megahertz output. It's right now it's reading about uh, two hertz high. Um, the indication on the GPSDO still says alarm. The GPS lock is lit and the run light is flashing. I still don't know what any of those mean. I don't really have instructions that came with this. And if there were instructions, they would be in Chinese anyway. So let's give it a little while and see what happens. 
Okay, so after only a few minutes, the alarm light has turned off, GPS lock light is still solid, and the run light is still flashing. I'm assuming that all of these indications are normal and that the unit is functioning properly. Let's take another look at the frequency counter and see what it looks like now. As you can see, it's reading 10 megahertz almost exactly. We get an occasional uh, one on the least significant digit over here. So um, I think the instrument is working. All right, I would like to hook it up to my scope and see what the output looks like and also take a look at the one pulse per second output and see what that looks like. So let's do that now. With the 10 megahertz output, hooked up into the input of my scope. Um, we see we've got a very clean sine wave signal. Um, it looks like it's about a uh, little over eight volts peak to peak. Um, very nice, very nice. And here is the one pulse per second output. Looks like it's a TTL logic levels, zero to a little over uh, three and a half volts, something like that. Um, one pulse per second, looks right. So here we're looking at um, the GPSDO is input on channel A on my scope. And the output of my 10 megahertz, uh, 3325A set to 10 megahertz um, is on channel B of the scope. So we're looking at channel B, but we're triggering on the GPSDO signal at channel A. And if we take a look, you can see that um, the output of the 3325 drifts by about, looks like one cycle every five seconds or so. So it's off by about 0.2 hertz, um, which is quite a bit, actually. I expected it to be less than that. Um, if we put the same uh, setup and switch the scope to XY mode and look at the Lisa Zhu pattern, we can see that they do not uh, synchronize very well. Um, probably over time, we might see that this will change. But I imagine that this is probably due to the error in my reference oscillator inside my 3325A. Uh, just to correct a misstatement that I just stated previously, um, the reference oscillator is not inside the 3325A. In fact, this 3325 does not have an optional OCXO reference oscillator. It uses, I am currently connected to, you can see the external reference light is lit. Is connected to the OCXO that is in my 5328A frequency counter. So this is the oscillator that seems to be off by about 0.2 hertz. So after letting it run for a couple of hours, it seems like nothing has actually changed. It still seems to be the same error. So what you're looking at is the Lisa Zhu pattern between the OCXO in my 5328A frequency counter and the new GPSDO unit. Um, looks to be about, my 5328A looks to be about 0.2 hertz off, something like that. Um, I probably am not going to bother to retune that OCXO. Um, I have many OCXOs in the other instruments as well. And uh, my, my plan is to hook up all of my um, synthesized instruments into this GPSDO. Um, I have placed an order for the distribution amplifier that matches this unit and goes along with it so that I can run BNC cables, uh, RG58 BNC cables to each of my instruments that take an external reference oscillator input. And then they'll all be synchronized to the same uh, GPS satellite uh, disciplined oscillator. Um, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned. 
I will probably make another video when that distribution amplifier comes in and I have all my instruments hooked up to it. Thanks again for watching.